Hi everyone, welcome to a Render Spaz video. Today I am going to show you a brand new um, tutorial of the uh, car paint shader within uh, V-Ray. Uh, this is now V-Ray 2.4, so the updates uh, have changed a little bit. So now that we have this new update, we can now see um, the car paint shader um, in V-Ray RT. So this is a this is a cool feature now so that you can accurately see how you're uh, creating your paint and uh, and it works for the GPU. I mean, uh, that's what I meant to say actually. It's working for the GPU. It did work for V-Ray RT uh, CPU version a while back so now it's uh, fully, functional, fu fully functional in uh, the GPU. So uh, I'm just going to get right to it. Um, as you can see, uh, this is a, I use the R8 a lot. Uh, it's a cool car to use. and. Um, also, with this scene here that I've created uh, a while back for a GPU example, I'm showing an animation. Uh, if you check in one of my previous videos, you'll see this animation. This is the light setup for it. Um, I use this paint, and uh, I know that I can probably get more out of this if I use the V-Ray Car Paint Shader. Uh, it really has some cool features. I'm not going to go through all the features, but I'm going to show you some of the uh, ones that I would use right away just to get a cool look on the car. So. Let's jump down to it and uh, show you guys um, how cool we can uh, get some effects here. Okay, so um, let's gonna bring that here. Quick. Let's get a nice little angle for now to work with, like something like this. And I'm gonna do a draw region. Okay, that's all I need there. <clears throat> all right, so I'm going to pay, uh, pick our, sh our shader from the, the uh, car, uh, the car paint shader. For some reason, I have BMW. Okay. Anyways, um, okay, so let's uh, change this. I'm going to pick the car paint shader, and everything will turn blue. Okay, and um, actually I might want to just get a zoomed up area here. That will work. Alright, so you can see right now as I start off, uh, let's do something really stand out. I'll go with this yellow, and I'll pick this as a, as a red. It's fire red, okay? So what you can see right now is we get our base paint, or our base color, um, <clears throat> and then we have our flakes, uh, which is the red, right? And you can see that they're scattered kind of weird here. Right? That's because it's, uh, right now it's only uh, our mapping type has to change, so we got to come into a uh, trip planner, okay? And uh, now we see that it, it looks like it's disappeared. Okay, uh, that's only because it now it's going to go like a kind of like globally around our object. So if I if I change our scaling to like a 0.1, okay, you're going to see that uh, you can you can't really see it there, but see here there's some red paint coming through a little bit okay, in our size of our paint. Well, if I crank our size up. Okay, or sorry, our flakes. Uh, if we crank that up, you can see that it overtakes everything, right? These are our flakes. So we want to bring the size down. And sometimes I like to start off kind of some high numbers and then just kind of work my way down, okay? So I'm going to go with a flake size of, just by guessing here, yeah, I'm going to actually go by 0.5. But then what I want to do here is, if I bring the scale up, okay, this is how much it uh, separates your flakes. So the scale will separate your flakes. So if we go 0 0.005, okay, and then we bring up maybe the scale a bit, like an 8. Okay, let's bring up some more. Let's kind of just see what we got here. I'm going to go to a 2. Okay, you can see that 
actually this is really cool we're getting um now if we just go to, from, to two okay well actually maybe sorry not two sorry two um you can see that we get the paint scattered out which looks pretty pretty nice so if i uh come in here um let me try to get a nice close up here real quick you can see they're nicely scattered in okay so this is going to give us some really cool effects. Now, another thing is I can play with the uh, scene scale again, or sorry, the flake scale, and uh, now we can really see they're really coming out. But we might have, we might want them to blend a little more. So if I screen out, those are really pushed in there. So I just gotta play with this until I see a nice look here. 0 0.01 might do it. Okay. That's cool. That's kind of that's what I'm looking for. So we see a little bit of pieces, like a little breakup. That looks uh, more real, realistic. Um, so now, if we uh, and another thing is the glossiness can control. So it's it's uh, 0.8 now. If I go to one, okay, we can see we get the extreme highlight, like wherever the uh, light's hitting the light bounce it will uh, reflect those flakes okay try to find a good little spot here to show you guys so yeah like in this area here um, you can see it kind of it's, it's lighter areas right <clears throat> the thing is we can up our density I'll go like the six get a little more uh, flakes inside in there uh, and that's cool. So now you can see the, the lighter area and then it just falls off. So keeping that in mind that uh, you play with the, uh, the glossiness. I'm going to go and bring it down a bit. I don't like it too, uh, too glossy. I'll just bring it back to 0.8. A lot of the default values here are, are pretty good most of the time. Uh, it's really up to you how you really want to go with it. And right now, if you look at the paint I have, it's actually it's not bad. So you can see where uh, it falls off, and you can see where the light is, of the because of the glossiness, where the uh, the main part of the light is, it's actually bringing those out a lot. So if you really want to make this dull, I go to I just shut this off. I'll show you here how it there it goes. So it took away uh, the glossiness of the flakes, so it doesn't have any glossiness built into the flakes now. So if we go back and we put it to like four, we get a little bit, but it's not too strong, right? So just keep that in mind. So uh, go to six, get a little more. Very cool. All right. So now that we got kind of a look with our uh, flakes and everything, now what we want to do <coughs> is uh, let's actually get a real look at paint here. Let's try. Let's go with blue this time. I always do red. Okay. You can see we get a really cool looking uh, effect there, actually. Like a, there we go. It's pretty cool looking. And you can see the cool effects are getting nice fall off. It gets dark and it gets light over here. This looks really good. Looks really nice coated. Right? These are just one of the ways you can get your paint. You can really play with this. You can make it not look so metallic. Another thing is, uh, so <clears throat> also another thing to play with is the base reflection. Uh, if you play with that, you can get more of a chrome look to it, and it really defines the shape of the car. Actually, if you're if you're moving that up, I really like playing with that feature. And the base glossiness, well, how much sharp, how, how sharp you want your uh, your highlights, right? So if you really want a stylized look to the car, you can way you can do it okay so that's the so that's that and you can see the changes here so as I move this up you'll see the car change a little one I'm just going to show you kind of that's ultra gloss you can see uh, it looks very chrome uh, and if I want to just kind of take these numbers a bit so like four and then tighten this up I don't want it too much I don't want it too chrome you know, paint's not, you know, car paint's not really like that. 
All right, and then uh, another thing to uh, keep in mind is you have your coat strength and your color and all that. So, you know, if you want to add a little more blue to your uh, to your car, you or you want to tone down the, uh, the the highlight, you can do that. Add a little pink to it, or sorry, uh, a little bit of blue. Okay, and that kind of tones it down, gives you a nice kind of. You know, and then it actually this saves a good this is good for in post that you know you don't have to have these crazy uh, highlights of the car where you know this is actually not that bad but if you're trying to uh, add courage to this in post uh, bring up your uh, color you know you're not going to get blowouts so keep that in mind so if I go uh, let's make it a little more shinier 0.8 you can see we get this nice highlight now and you know, I could say I'm happy with this. This uh, this looks not bad. All right, guys. So that's uh, pretty much you know. Uh, there's a lot to play with here. Um, I'm not gonna go through everything in depth in this tutorial, anyways. Um, but I just give you a brief uh, you know uh, look at uh, how you can use. Um, the RT and now uh, you can get an accurate flake and uh, car paint shader. So uh, thanks guys, this concludes this video and uh, feel free to uh, contact, um, contact me anyway through Facebook or what, uh, the website at www.renderspaz.com. Thanks guys, have a good day.